Massive changes coming next month in the Garfield Heights School District. Changes that will mean shorter school days and fewer programs. Tonight, parents had a chance to let school leaders know what they think of the plan. News Channel 5's John Cossack was there. By the hundreds they came, these Garfield Heights parents, to hear and be heard. They are upset with changes aimed at addressing a drop in school funding and falling education test scores. So gone come January will be K-5 through music, art, phys ed, and library programs, with a reduction of the same at the middle school level. Changes that will result in shorter school days, earlier dismissal, and for some, no lunch. Shoot, Cleveland sounds way better than Garfield right now. Parents confused over how less class time will mean higher grades. My third grader, I love her teacher, I really do, but she came in reading at one level. Time progress report came, she dropped two scores. The superintendent says the changes will give teachers the prep time needed to meet their education goals. Under the prep <coughs> resources we have, and the number of teachers we have, we well, we're spread way too thin to make that improvement happen and happen quick enough. Parents directed their pleas to the board and to each other, urging one another to work to pass their first new levy in 20 years, not move to a new district. If you are sitting here with your faces poked out and got an attitude and blaming the school system, you better look in the in the because it's not getting better, you all. I don't care what district you move to, it's not getting better. Garfield Heights voters will have the opportunity to vote on a new levy in March. The problem is, even if it finally does pass, the money that it generates won't be able to be collected until January of next year, meaning the changes announced tonight will be in place for some time to come. In Garfield Heights, John Kosick, News Channel 5.